Questions for Eugene, please. Any questions for Eugene? Can you give us an idea on how to do a reading club competition? The reading club competition is a reading club competition that exists. That, that reading club competition exists. Mm -hmm. But what specific, like for example, if you look at it, which was doing at the school level, you remember some time ago we used to have um, sports in school mm -hmm. and you'd have the different houses. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the basic same principle that we use. Mm -hmm. They use, they say, um, at different levels, you have different categories, um, so the children would read, um, and when you'd have a cup for the winners, you'd also have cups for the winners in reading and those kind of things. You'd also have certificates of children who progressed and developed and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So basically using that same approach that we used when we had inter-school sport, sports in school and those kind of things. Sorry, can I ask two questions, not specifically to Eugene, is that okay? Sure. Yeah. Um, just, okay, one is um, for both, I haven't heard, for, sorry, for Smangela as well. Um, my son's also involved in lots of reading at his school. Book reviews, the, the conversation around, we're talking about understanding, I haven't heard anyone say having book reviews as part, whether it's part of the club or whether it's part of the curriculum. And talking about the competition, I know there's two things happening. One is my son is involved with the lit quiz in their school, the literature quiz competition. And the question is, is it a possibility that people can start talking among themselves to start formulating something like that? The second is there's a daily news general knowledge quiz that is run among the high schools. Have we, as a, is it something that can be explored and tapped into as part of it? I think the book, the book reviews, um, as part of the reading for enjoyment activities, right, what we would probably what we would do is, for example, we'd read a story, right, and then let's say, for example, the teacher is at that, at that part of the term um, wants to teach about the different kinds of communication. And then one of the communication that you want to speak about specifically is interview skills, how to, one of the interview, right? So we'd read the story, and then one of the activities that we'd have is we'd say, okay, this group, you interview the main character of the story based on the contents of the story, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's good that we might not have mentioned them specifically, but it also goes to our creativity of, <coughs> remember we only had 30 minutes to do whatever we, we're doing here. Um, it also goes to our creativity at our schools. What is it that we want to do? Because all we can do is give you examples of what we've done and what we've seen, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to do what you think is best for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think, as I mentioned, there are many ways that you can try to understand it. And obviously, book reviews are the main ways that we know outside of selling, marketing and sales, where they review a book for you and they tell you. But for children, for younger children, asking them, did you like the story? What excited you about the story? That's also an oral review. And because we're working for language construction, that is very good. At a high school level, definitely you can have them start very small, though, so that it's not overwhelming. So 500 words. I mean, although, I mean, short stories are usually harder to write than novels because you have to almost be good at condensing and getting to the point in fewer words. Mm -hmm. But also, it's also not as intimidating, so you have them write very small. I mean, I'm happy your son is involved in all those different activities, so you're definitely on the right track. So, but it's something that everybody in the schools, obviously with, I don't know if you, got, if you still do the reading logs, you know how my daughter learned to read when she was at primary school was that they have a book to read every day and four pages, page two to page four, then I'd have to sign that she read and I'd have to hear her read from page two to page four. And then as a family as well, we have a reading challenge. So whoever reads the most amount of books, you know, get yourself a nice book. You know, so that's also something that you can do as families. But there's always ways to review around meal time and activities. What are you reading? Who taught you how to read? What did you read today? And it doesn't have to be limited to a physical copy, you know, because a lot of what I read now as well is links. 
that friend said. And so we shouldn't demonize technology. We should also direct it in the way of, of where we want the children to go. But as Regina said, we could talk the whole day about this because it is what we do. So, yeah. What is my